Warning, I, Dan Lanks, am going to completely blow your mind during this Minecraft video. So if you enjoy console Minecraft, hit that like button and subscribe for more block placing awesomeness. Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dan Lags, and I am back again for another upgrade video. However, today's video is going to be a little bit different. We are actually not on Danville today. I'm actually on the first world that I ever loaded up on Xbox 360 Minecraft five years ago. Five, it's insane to even think about it. In fact, actually, wait a minute. It's not actually five years. It's about four years and ten months. C close enough, close enough. It's five years. And uh, I'm actually going to be upgrading my first house that I have ever built on Minecraft ever. This is the first thing I ever made. Um, you know, I went around. Th this world's got a bunch of ridiculous builds. I'll just give you guys a quick taste of this. Like, look at this. some of the stuff that I was building. Like, this was before Creative Mode came out on console. Um, even before the duplication glitch became a thing. So this was, like, literally the first, like, week of the game being released when I built this. And then uh, we got some other stuff over there. We have a floating glass house over the water. And that's actually uh, Tyler's first house right over there, funny enough. But anyway, let's get back on track here. So I'm going to be upgrading this house today. And uh, this build is an interesting one because I think it's slightly based off falling water. I'm pretty sure. Um, I think that was what I was going for when I first built this thing. I did. I think I was looking at a picture of falling water if I remember back in the day. So like from this angle, it kind of looks like falling water a little bit. And if you guys don't know, it's a famous house. Um, in Pennsylvania by Frank Lloyd Wright. It's a, like really iconic build. If you ever just Google falling water, you'll know what I mean. And that's pretty much the only side I think looks like. Everything else is just my horrific, you know, 2012 building style. So we're going to have to definitely modify the back of this build quite a bit. But I would like to keep the general structure of the front of the build pretty similar to what we have here. I'm probably just going to make it a little larger and just, you know, fix it up a little bit. But I'm, I'm going to say it's probably going to look pretty similar to Falling Water when we finally upgrade this thing, which I think will be pretty cool, actually. It'll be kind of like a Falling Water variant, but we'll, we'll worry about that once we actually get started building. Um, yeah, like I said, this is my first ever house. I actually uh, built this thing on the... I, I did like a, a throwback survival series, like TU1 Survival, uh, a couple months ago. And I actually rebuilt this house on that world as well, so... You guys may be familiar with it. One of my most popular videos on my channel is me actually touring this thing originally way, way back in the day. So um, that, I, that's why I wanted to build this day, just taking a break from Danville builds and coming back to, you know, just one of the my, my favorite builds, actually, even to this day, despite how, like, not very good it is. It's still very much a favorite of mine just because it's, you know, it's my first build. So it's got a special place in my heart, of course. So uh, we're going to be upgrading it today. As far as where I'm going to build it, I'm actually not just going to, I'm not going to break this one since we have space and it's not in Danville, so I'm not going to just be replacing the plot. I'll probably either build it over here or over here on the hill. Um, I'll probably build it over here just because it's a little bit more flat space. So we'll have kind of the old version and the upgraded version right next to each other, which uh, could be pretty awesome. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and just kind of stand, step back here, find a little spot to stand on. And, uh, and let's go ahead and upgrade my first ever house in Minecraft. And with the power of magic, we have ourselves a brand new build. Holy moly, guys, this one was a lot of fun to recreate. So here is the upgraded version of my first ever house. I know what you're thinking. Damn, that looks a lot like falling water. And that was honestly the goal. Um, I tried to make it look like falling water from this angle quite a bit. However, from most of the other sides of the build, uh, it's pretty much, you know, whatever I felt like doing with it. So it's kind of like a little falling water variant build. Kind of like a miniature variant version of it, which I think is just absolutely awesome. Honestly, this thing was fun to build, I'm not going to lie. I spent about three hours building this thing, maybe a little bit less than that. And I thought it turned out, I think it turned out great. Honestly, great block choice. Um, I was really, I couldn't really go with like the cobblestone and the nether rack and the obsidian and the lapis lazuli. It just, I, I didn't want this to look terrible and I, that's why like the back of the build isn't necessarily similar to what we have over here. But I feel like the front of the build in terms of like it's just structure and, and uh, you know, just layout is pretty similar to what we have over there. Like you have the, the tall glass wall the uh, the center structure of stone and then we have the balconies in the front we actually also added the waterfall uh, below the balcony and I extended the river as well so kept that all in there 
and I thought that was pretty cool. But yeah, I gotta say, I love the way this turned out. Furnished the whole thing as well. We'll go through the interior in just a second, but this is my little uh, recreation of my first ever house slash falling water variant, because it looks pretty similar to it, but that is totally okay. I, I love this thing. I thought it turned out fantastic. I didn't add a pool or anything like that. Um, after I finished the build, I, I just decided not to do a pool. Just didn't feel like it was necessary, and I kind of like this slope the way it is, honestly, going down to the uh, the ocean. So I decided to go with no pool. Uh, one thing I did actually on the outside is I added a, a driveway and a garage below the build. You're not going to find that on the original build, obviously. So just pretend that this uh, driveway is connected to the road or something like that. Obviously, it's not, but just just imagine that. And then, of course, the front steps to the build are actually right here. So we'll go ahead and walk up these front steps. I actually made this the front door here instead of over there, but just a slight variation. So here's a little front foyer here. We got a nice carpet, you know, the uh, the, the black to white carpet, which I, I think is pretty cool in the default. We'll go downstairs first, actually. Uh, this right here is the garage. We have the one garage door sports car. We have some laundry stuff right there, uh, laundry utilities. Right in here, we have a guest bedroom. So we have a bedroom, and then we have a bathroom ensuite right here. Full bathroom. I believe this house has two bedrooms and two bathrooms. Full bathrooms, that is. And also, there's a door out here that leads outside just to the, the grassy area. So this is kind of like the basement bedroom. Um, and that's pretty much the extent of what we're going to find down here. If we go up to the first level here, uh, we have just basically an open room with a lot of glass. This is more or less the dining room table. We have a fireplace in the corner, kind of curved around the corner, which I think turned out pretty cool. And then we have a big couch over here, coffee table, as well as a TV on the wall in this corner. And then there's a couple of doors here that lead out to the back balcony here. We have some nice uh, chairs to overlook the beautiful scenery here. Well, it's not that beautiful. We had a lot of icing over on the ocean back when there was biome shifts still on console, which was crazy. So that's why all that ice is there. It actually wasn't there originally when the world first loaded up. But, you know, that's what happens. And then there's a couple of steps down here that lead out to the backyard as well. And then over here we have ourselves the kitchen, which I thought turned out very nice. We have a couple of, uh, we have a little table here. We can eat breakfast and overlook some of the uh, landscape as well. It's a pretty cool area, honestly. I, I do like this seed for being such an old seed, being pretty much a title update one seed. Up here we have the master suite. So everything up here is just basically the master suite like i said and i had to add just a little bit of a reference back to the original build the cobblestone the lab of Zizuli, and the obsidian we just have a little wall design for it honestly i don't think it looks very good but i just had to give a little throwback to the original build because those are the blocks that i used for some reason back in the day back 2012 dan decided that he just loved those three hor horrific looking blocks but i can't explain it but anyway let's go over here uh we have the bathroom in here and then we have the bedroom right here. This is the master bedroom. There's also a master balcony out here with another absolutely gorgeous view. And that is pretty much going to do it for the interior of the first ever house upgrade. This thing's pretty sweet, honestly. I really do like this thing. This might be up there with that modern house I did on Danville. It's my favorite upgrade so far. And uh, it was very refreshing coming over here to a world I haven't been on in a really long time. And, and, uh, and creating something in 2017 that actually fits today's version of Minecraft. So, uh, very, very cool. Lots of fun. I might honestly do some old uh, upgrades on this world as well. Just do some more. I don't know. I'll go back on some of my really old worlds even before Danville. Like, this is prehistoric times, people. I'll go back on some of those worlds and see if I can find some other super old builds that I might be able to upgrade, kind of like this one. But uh, a little falling water variant, like I said, like six times. But definitely worth mentioning. Pretty cool. Love the way it turned out. Lots of fun here on this upgrade. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy it, leave 500 likes on the video, guys, and I'll do another upgrade next week. Sorry about missing one last week. Um, I just kind of ran out of inspiration on Danville for the time being, but I'll get back to it possibly in the future. I just wanted to, to mix it up a little bit. But lots of fun this week doing this upgrade. Had a blast, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and watching at, as well. So thanks for watching, everybody. It's been Dan Lags, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.